Long gone are the days of us watching YouTube videos at 320 by 240 resolution. Those of us using free software like Cam Studio were zoomed in and scrolling around our desktops like a maniac. Today I'm going to show you how to create YouTube videos in 720p and above resolution with split screen, multi window, images, intros and outros and all with one piece of free software. Let's do this. <laughs> Open Broadcaster Software is an excellent free tool that's highly regarded in the gaming community for streaming out to things like Twitch, but you can also use this to create YouTube videos. Let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at the settings, and if I give you a quick rundown, in the encoding settings I have my max bitrate set to 5000, that's for me to create a 720p YouTube video. I do mine in 720p so it's not a massive file to upload because I do a lot of uploading, uh, but it also is a fairly decent quality for people to watch. In broadcast settings I've got mine set to file output only and mine's hidden to the desktop as recording as mp4 so we're going to get a nice small mp4 file and we can just upload that straight to YouTube. Start stream hotkey would be the same as starting your recording so it's nice to have a little button we can press to do that. Under the video options I have mine set to 1280 by 720 because that is the HD resolution that you're watching right now and the frames per second set to 30 and disabling aero because aero is poop. In the audio settings you can actually record your desktop audio and your microphone. This is ideal for those of you who do let's play videos and want to talk over the video as you're playing. Very cool. You can also have the desktop boost and mic boost if you're finding that you're not getting enough audio out. Uh, so that's very useful to have too and you can do the hotkeys inside here. I don't really mess with the advanced settings here. This is to really delve deep into the encoder and if you're having sync problems you might want to choose the mic sync fix hack. And under microphone noise gate, I've not really used this before because I think that noise gate uh, can get very buggy and make it not sound right uh, because you can have those adjusting levels so you'll hear like background noise like jumping up and down. Uh, it may not be the case in here but I'm just not using it for my thing. I'd rather do noise removal in post. So that pretty much covers my settings. How do you actually use the software? Well you'll see on the bottom left we have scenes and we have sources. Scenes can be if you imagine this video, I have my beginning where I talk to you about how my video works or what you'll see in it. You then see an introduction, you see me explain how to do something, and then at the end you'll see an outro. They are pretty much four different scenes. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a scene here and we're going to call it intro. The great thing about this is that inside the sources area for this scene, I can just simply add some text. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. It's going to be similar to something like Windows Movie Maker and I'm just going to say welcome to my video. You can do this a lot better obviously but for the time that I have here I'm just going to do that. So this is pretty much my intro ready to go. If I click preview stream you'll see that it says welcome to my video. Problem is, is that this isn't centered. So I can right click this and choose position size and then center or press control C. So that's a stupidly basic introduction to my video. Now the great thing about these scenes is that when they go into each other, uh, they actually fade in and fade out by themselves. So that's a nice quick way that you could make a video. If I press the stop preview and add a new scene in, I'll do one that says desktop. Now I'm actually going to do some split screening here. I'm going to right click and go add. Now I can use monitor capture to capture the entire desktop if I want to. But in this case I'm just going to capture two programs which I have open off the screen right now. So window capture is what I'm going to go for. OK. And if I choose the window untitled notepad, the best thing ever for YouTube videos. And I'm just going to click OK. And then I'm going to right click again, click add, window capture. These are just things that I have open currently and I'm going to choose paint. Click OK and I'm going to preview that stream and you'll see it doesn't look very good. So what I'm going to do is edit this scene and I can actually drag this around and you'll see now I have both. Actually I can only do one at a time here but I can resize this as I wish. So this is the chance for you to get some split screen functionality, some multi window functionality. So I'll untick that and choose the next one. This is what we're actually supposed to do and then I can just resize that. So it's excellent for adding anything to the screen. So now if I was to just switch to the intro, you can see it now fading in and out onto the video. So very, very nice. You can do this to do multiple things. And of course, once this gets starting to stream, it's going to go to that MP4 file ready to upload. 
You can also do all of this live if you're doing this on uh, Twitch. This is the idea of just fading things in and out, having your own little picture in the bottom right hand corner or having things where you're going offline and doing things like that. So finally, I'm just going to do another one, which is the outro. And I don't know, I'm going to go to add and then this time I'm going to go for image. And I'm not sure what I'm going to show you here. I'm going to go to my Dropbox. Uh, no, I'm not I'm going to go back and I'm going to go to this picture here. Don't really know. I've forgotten what this actually. Uh, <laughs> OK, so <laughs> I apologize for the swear word here. But uh, so what I can do then is, again, I can just situate it. I can order it. I can rename it. I can go to the properties and make this a little bit more transparent if I wish. And this is pretty much an image I can add. So there we go. I've got an intro. I've got the desktop, which is where I'm going to start doing my talking and the outro. But as you see, I'm clicking through each one. You're not going to want to do this while you're making your video. What you can actually do is right click this and set a hotkey for each one. Therefore, I could pretty much control this with my keyboard as I'm going. So I could just do one for intro, two for desktop and three for outro and simply press them when I'm ready to go. And this is all done live to tape. And again, you can upload that MP4 file to YouTube. So that pretty much covers it. There's a lot more to find out about this. There's plugins and global sources, which I'm not going to talk about in this video. I like to give you a basic overview of how everything works and give you a rough understanding. And after that, you walk through that door and you find out how to do things yourself. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.